Okay, so before we start with the painting, I want to show you what you can expect from the tablet and the software. So here we have the, the box, it's the, the front and the back. Um, once you open the box, you'll be faced with the tablet. And then underneath the tablet, you will have all the other little bits and pieces that come with it. So um, inside the box is the tablet, the pen, the USB cable, which um, you can plug straight into your PC, your laptop, and a small user guide. The medium and the small tablet both have 4000 pressure levels um, when you're using the pen. Um, the, the tablet itself is extremely lightweight. Um, but it's it's a very durable piece of kit. The power button is in the center. To the left and right of the power button, you have two express keys. You can customize those and set them to whatever you want. The pen is battery free, so you don't need to charge this. It's got a left and a right mouse button but you can customize those as well. You can place it in the express keys when not in use it, it fits there nicely. Um, if you're traveling around you can put it in the loop on the top of the tablet and it, it fits in there and it's not it's not going to move around if you're carrying it in a rucksack or something. Here we have the um, settings for the tablet you can customize the the pen settings so the right and the left click there's the express keys just click on the uh, drop down menu and customize those however you you see fit the pen itself um, you can test the uh, pressure here I'm just clicking on the screen applying more pressure taking it off um, there's a, a mapping um, function so the tablet can work across two screens but you're going to limit the amount of space that you have on the tablet um, and we have some on-screen controls that we can customize too. Now let's have a look at the software that we're going to use so it's Corel Painter Essentials 6 this is the typical layout when you open the uh, the software. It's fully customizable. You can move things around. So if I click in this space here, I can drag the uh, the color wheel. Obviously, if you're clicking within the colors, you can um, change all the values. But this area here is used to just drag it around. You can drop that wherever you like. Um, you can also move all of these toolbars around. You can see once you've dragged it over roughly where you want it, it will snap into place. Okay, so we've got a color selection here. So we've got a mixer tab. We can double click on that and that will hide it. Um, double click on it again and that will open it up. There are a few more toolbars that don't pop up straight away so we can go into the Windows um, option and scroll down and look at the ones that haven't been checked. There's the navigator, we can drag that around, put that where we want it back to Windows and the layers. So there we have our setup. We also have these menus up here. Um, we can open these up. Um, here we have a new image. So we can customize the pixels per inch, pixels per centimeter. Um, there's a paper library which will give us our textures click OK on that. 
select the grabber and we'll just move this into place so we can see the whole of the canvas okay and I'm just going to move the color wheel down to the bottom okay um, so yeah we have these menus up here um, these are all all options to help you with your layers um, there's an effects uh, category here you can adjust the colors and the focus things like that um, the windows one we've already seen and um, there's a help menu which has painted videos online if you're struggling with um, how to use the software and you you need some ideas and some help there's a there's a pretty good website here with it's it's got tons of videos on here you can be watching this for days so um, yeah there we go there's plenty of stuff in there okay so let's select a brush and I'm going to try and show you what the pressure sensitivity of the tablet can do so if we drag this line across the page we've got a thin a thin line and it's getting slightly thicker as I'm applying more pressure now if I do this the other way apply the pressure and go all the way across the page you can start to see you can get a variation in the line weight um, we're basically applying more pressure towards the end so the, the brush gets thicker now let's have a look at the uh, particle category this this is quite a uh, a fun menu for um, effects brushes um, you can see on the screen there's all those small dots um, when you move the brush around this is reacting to the the movement the direction um, it's also changing color um, this this is the rainbow um, spring silk brush um, we have another particle brush here so you can see there's a spread of all the particles now that's full pressure and when we take the pressure off the, the particles all join back together so that's um, that's a lighter brush stroke a heavy brush stroke so they move in and out and you can see what that pressure is doing let's try another brush now so um, we'll go to the acrylics and we'll select the first brush um, now you can already see with a light pressure the, the brush has the the grain um, going across the page and with the full pressure you're getting the full opacity so you can get quite a variation with um, with all of these tools, all of these brushes. We have the the menu down the side so um, there's there's plenty of things on there um, to keep you busy. The uh, layer adjust, there's a mirror tool there. Um, we can unselect that, get rid of that. Um, there's the grabber and then zoom in, zoom out. rotate the page and we can change our um, paper textures with our uh, library at the bottom let's open up a new layer and now one more thing that I wanted to show you is the the free transform tool so um, I'm just going to um, create this rectangle and uh, just fill this and then if we go back to the the menu of the uh, the layer adjust free transform tool scroll across 
and now we have a, a menu at the top and we can change um, the perspective of this layer. So now this has almost become um, a 3D shape. We're changing the, uh, the perspective of this, um, this particular shape and we can distort it and warp it in, um, in many different ways. If we go back to the uh, the menu again, um, and there's an option for rotation, so we can just grab the corner, any corner, rotate it. If we move the the pivot point, we can drag that around, um, and it will rotate using that as its center. we want to reset that point we can just double click on it and it's back into the middle okay so there's some basics on the tablet and the software in the next video we're going to start our painting